As of July 17th, 2022, there are 47 volcanoes actively erupting on the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Niamoragira in the Democratic Republic of Congo, which has been erupting since April 18th of 2018. Niamoragira is a shield volcano with a low prominence 2.2 km wide caldera, which formed due to a large volume flank eruptions which drained the underlying magma chamber. This volcano is often overshadowed by the far more dangerous Niragongo volcano with its 100 km per hour lava flows, but also has the potential to produce unusually fast lavas which could overrun a number of local settlements. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano related news stories. In Indonesia, there has been an increase in seismic activity at the Rayung stratovolcano. This volcano is famous due to its amphitheater-like caldera which amplifies the volcano's unusually loud eruptions and is the reason for Rayung's name. Meanwhile, in Japan, satellites have this month twice detected unusual bursts of sulfur dioxide emissions from the Chokachidake volcano which has not erupted since 2004. And, also in Japan, the alert level was raised from green to yellow at a potentially highly dangerous volcano which is located within 10 kilometers of more than 100,000 residents. The volcano I am referring to is called Yufu Tsurumi or Tsumuri Dake and is located 6 kilometers west of the city of Beppu on the northern section of the island of Kyushu. This volcanic complex consists of three large lava domes and at least one notable landslide scar which is triggered by a lava dome collapsing in 200 BCE which took with it part of the mountain. Although unconfirmed, what looks like hummocky terrain overlies several densely populated cities to the east, potentially associated with two other geologically recent collapses of the lava dome complex. Although not every eruption at this complex is highly explosive, another such large-scale collapse represents an unlikely worst-case scenario. The alert level was raised at this volcano due to a swarm of earthquakes which began underneath the eastern flank of the Garandaki lava dome. Compared to previous earthquake swarms at this volcano, the ongoing series is occurring at an unusual location away from where other swarms have occurred and is shallower than usual, occurring at between 1 and 4 kilometers in depth. By noon on July 8th, 92 volcano tectonic earthquakes had occurred, which were most likely related to the movement of heated hydrothermal fluids underneath the volcano. Luckily, after this, earthquake activity largely ceased on July 11th. Although the earthquake storm may be over, it was still highly unusual. As a result, a 1 km exclusion zone was placed around the summits of both Garandaki and Tosumaradake. In Indonesia, the towering Rayun stratovolcano stands at 3,260 meters or 10,696 feet above sea level. It contains a steep-walled summit caldera with a young volcanic cone which has been the site of 46 eruptions in the last 100 years. The last such eruption ended on April 14th of 2021. Although Rayun is currently at an alert level of 1 which translates to green, it is displaying an increase in seismic activity which could eventually result in its alert level being raised to yellow or 2. While Rayun produced only 2 earthquakes on July 4th, by July 6th this figure had spiked to 9 earthquakes. Earthquakes then spiked to 73 on July 10th before returning to still heightened but lesser values. This occurred alongside increasing emissions of sulfur dioxide gas from the volcano which is indicative that active magma is somewhere at depth. However, ground uplift indicating the vertical movement of magma has not been detected. In Japan, satellite sensors also detected several bursts of sulfur dioxide emissions from the Tomachi Dake volcano. Measurements were made of 530 tons on July 7th and 490 tons on July 14th. This volcano is currently an alert level equivalent to green as its apparent increase in emissions occurred without a detectable magmatic uplift signal visible from satellite. This either indicates that the sulfur dioxide emissions are a false positive or that small batches of volcanic gases made it to the surface due to a negligible increase in overall activity. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Kirk Smith for increasing their pledge on this channel's Patreon.